Mr. President, the university community is assembled for commencement. Good morning. On behalf of Washington's premier and proudly publicly purposed university, I welcome you to these ceremonies celebrating what is our highest priority, the academic attainment of our students. For the fun and flair they add to today's ceremonies, please join me in showing our appreciation to the Bellingham Pipe Band. The flags in the procession and along the back wall, including those of sovereign Indian nations, represent the origins and the educational experiences of our graduates and Western's global reach. Please do remain standing for the Star Spangled Banner will be led in singing by Western Washington University music performance major, Lauren Randolph. Please be seated. This is the happiest time of the year on our campus. We have marked the importance of the day with the solemnity of centuries old ritual. And we celebrate. We celebrate because today, like no other, captures why we are here and why we so enjoy being here. We celebrate first and foremost, of course, the graduates of whom we are all so proud. Commencement is about graduates to be sure, but it's also about values and commitments, and above all, people whose dedication make this moment possible. While we'll be getting to the graduates in a bit, I ask you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the journey as we first celebrate the many dimensions by which graduation is a community and not just an individual achievement. Over the past 111 years, Western Washington University has conferred more than 103,000 degrees. Today, we add 640. And although we only give diplomas to the graduates today, there are many who share their accomplishments. Please join me as we recognize those who make possible the achievements of today's graduates. First, I ask that the parents, including step-parents and guardians of our graduates, stand and remain standing so that your graduating sons and daughters may show their appreciation for your guidance and support. Remain standing, please remain standing, and now be joined by grandparents, great-grandparents, spouses, and sons and daughters of the graduates. <laughs> a 
And finally, aunts, uncles, neighbors, friends, and all others have made this day possible. Thank you, you may be seated. There is, of course, one very special group whose contributions deserve particular recognition. Our graduates are widely recognized for their active minds, changing lives, because they learn side by side with the very best faculty and staff. Will the faculty and staff, including emeritus and emerita, please rise? Thank you. I add my personal thanks to this outstanding group of dedicated and caring mentors and teachers. In key leadership positions included with me on the platform today are our trustees, community leaders who, on behalf of you, the citizens of Washington, generously donate guidance and direction for your Western Washington University. The trustees present are Dennis Matson of Seattle, Phil Sharp of Bellingham, and Dick Thompson of Olympia. Officers of the university on the platform today are Dr. Catherine Reardon, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, Sherry Berkey, Associate Vice President for University Relations, Stephanie Bowers, Vice President for University Advancement, Richard Vandenhall, Vice President for Business and Financial Affairs, Steve Swan, Vice President for University Relations, Dr. Eileen Coughlin, Senior Vice President and Vice President for Enrollment and Student Services. Thank you for your service. The deans on the platform today are Associate Dean of Graduate Programs within the College of Business and Economics, Dr. Craig Dunn, Dean of Fairhaven College of Interdisciplinary Studies, Dr. Roger Gilman, Dean of Huxley College of the Environment, Dr. Bradley Smith, Dean of the College of Sciences and Technology, Dr. Jeff Wright, Dean of the College of Humanities and Social Sciences, Dr. Brent Carbajal, Dean of the College of Business and Economics, Dr. Brian Burton, Dean of the College of Fine and Performing Arts, Dr. Daniel Guyette, and Dean of Woodring College of Education, Dr. Francisco Rios, and Dean of Libraries, Mr. Christopher Cox. The mace from medieval times symbolizes the university's authority to confer degrees and is appropriately borne by our most senior faculty member, Dr. Debnath Mukherjee, who has served this university with distinction for 50 years. <laughs> the leadership of our commencement procession, the University Marshal, is also appropriately the leader of our outstanding faculty. To bring you greetings on behalf of the faculty, I present Dr. Karen Stout, President of the Faculty Senate, Associate Professor Stout. President Shepard, members of the Board of Trustees, and family and friends of the graduates, I welcome you on behalf of the faculty of Western Washington University to the 2011 fall commencement. And to the graduates, I'm honored to welcome you to this ceremony, which in every way is designed to celebrate you your accomplishments, and your membership as alumni to Western Washington University. Enjoy the pomp and circumstance of this day. For this cultural practice is rich with symbolism. For nearly a thousand years, ceremonies like this have taken place. What an amazing thing to think about. The regalia we wear today is rooted in cultural traditions 700 to 8 years old. While universities have grown and changed, this ritual reminds us of our communal linkages to each other across time and space. Today, you become a member of this community. Enjoy the pomp and circumstance of this day, for it celebrates your rite of passage, 
from being students to being alumni. Today, Western's faculty, staff, and administrators celebrate you. We believed in you enough to accept you into our community. And now, we believe in you enough to send you out into the world as one of our own. Enjoy the pomp and circumstance of this day as you sit with and celebrate with your friends. You shared experiences with them inside and outside of the classroom, and you accomplished and learned so much together and because of each other. Celebrate with your friends today, but remember those who are ahead of you and those who remain behind because they're rooting for you too. Enjoy the pomp and circumstance of this day, for it celebrates your family. Because if you haven't figured it out yet, today is their celebration too. They lifted you up to get you to this day. They have a stake in your accomplishments, and they deserve some recognition too. And I know they want to celebrate. Right, family? And finally, enjoy the pomp and circumstance of this day because, because it has been designed by a team of event planners who want you to enjoy this celebration for what it is, a revelry, a celebration of you. Collectively, we have worked hard to be in this place right here, right now, celebrating you graduates. Enjoy every minute. On behalf of the entire faculty at Western Washington University, congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Stout. Ms. Lauren Squires is your class speaker. The Provost Selection Committee chose Lauren for this honor from a group of outstanding candidates nominated by our academic programs. Lauren Squires of Longview, Washington, graduates today with a Bachelor of Arts degree in urban planning with a minor in sustainable design. A graduate of Mark Morris High School and Lower Columbia College, Lauren is fascinated by the interplay of place and quality of life. In addition to her studies at the, both the Huxley College of the Environment and Fairhaven College of Interdisciplinary Studies, Lauren was an impassioned advocate for sustainability in Western's campus community. She served as Associated Students Director of Environmental and Sustainability Programs and worked in Western's Office of Sustainability, organ organizing events and programs promoting sustainability in the student community. Off campus, Lauren worked as a summertime river rafting guide in Idaho. She's demonstrated her devotion to bicycle transportation last summer when she returned here from Idaho, bicycling the whole way, over 400 miles, and climbing 4,000 feet in elevation three times. Please welcome your class speaker. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. I'm so grateful for this opportunity to share with all of you today. And I am just one story of many in this room today. We each have such different journeys in earning our degree. So I'd like to start by sharing a bit of my story with you. My name is Lauren, and I'm a Huxley student and a Fairhaven student. Don't ask me to explain. It's complicated. <laughs> um, I'm an only child, and my mom was a stay-at-home mom. My dad, for the past 30 years, has worked at the same paper mill in my hometown. And I've become an environmentalist since coming to Western and I'm working through the fact that uh, my family's livelihood is based on the cutting down of trees. So I have some tree karma that I'm currently working off right now. Um, so I transferred to Western and if you count the time that I was at community college, I've been in college for the past six years. <laughs> um, but these atypical unconventional journeys that have delivered us here today is what gives our degree value. It's the growth that's happened along the way that is meaningful. So in our short time together this morning, I just want to invite you, fellow graduates, to reflect on that journey, 
to think about all of the life that has gone into this degree we've earned, the pride of our accomplishments and the challenges of our struggles. That investment of life is what gives this privilege of a degree value. And as we all know, with privilege also comes responsibility. And as we define the value of our degrees for ourselves, we must remember that we're now a part of a privileged minority. We're responsible to positively contribute to the world out of this meaningful growth that we've experienced. And so, to me, that's an empowering notion. And if I could share one insight that I've gained during this time, during this formative season of university, trying to figure out how to create a life after my passions, it's that we have the power to shape our own experience of this world. The world will give us exactly what we ask from it. Not a penny more or a penny less. And that's a quote from my mother. <laughs> so that's not to say that it's going to be easy. There are external pressures that can shape our life paths for us. Those can, be, those can be things like going with what's convenient or avoiding something because you're scared of it. But it's the force, there's a force inside of us that we can exert on the world as well. Shape the world from the inside out rather than letting external pressures shape your life path for you. And our, our degrees, they empower us to counteract these barriers. And there's a lot of people without that privilege. They have an exponentially harder time working against those limiting barriers. So we have the responsibility to use our strengths and our passions to change the world for the better. And I found that doing this hard work that I'm talking about of actively shaping our lives, it's like swimming upstream sometimes. But when you're clear about what's really important to you, and the dreams that you have determined to make a reality in your life, that's when you can shape your own life path. So a while back I heard a quote that speaks to the fear we usually feel when we're looking at taking a risk. And normally we fear that the world's going to like conspire against us, but I found that it actually conspires to support us. So this quote says, when you ask something of the world, it will conspire to support you. And I experienced this truth last summer when I was a rafting guide in northern Idaho. <laughs> I'd never lived in Idaho before, and it was beautiful, it was hot in that little canyon. It was also kind of lonely. So when I, think about, when I was thinking about how I was going to get back to Bellingham from Idaho at the end of the summer, I decided to ride my bike. <laughs> I took a bike tour from Moscow, Idaho to Bellingham, Washington over the North Cascades, which kind of sounds crazy to a lot of people. <laughs> so I haven't always been good at bicycling, but I found, that I found it to be something I was super passionate about during my time in Bellingham. It's a fun, social, environmentally conscious means of transportation, and as an urban planner, I kind of geek out about things like that. So. Uh, but here, here's the nugget of wisdom I want you to take away. It's that upon deciding to bike home from Idaho, when I asked that of the world, I found that it conspired to support me. I'd never been on a bike tour before. I never even pedaled more than 50 miles. But once I decided to look at the world through this lens of, this is what I'm going to do, that's when I started to find opportunities. People were really quick to share their gear and their bicycling expertise with me. They were quick to offer help, food, or even a warm place to sleep. And this was a solo trip, mind you. I did this by myself, so my folks were freaking out the whole time. <laughs> uh, my mom was on her knees praying the entire time, and I'd call every evening with these reports of just these serendipitous blessings that I would encounter. And I'd be met with a praise the Lord on the other end of the phone. And, whether you think it's the universe, or you think it's God, or just something bigger than us, the world will conspire to support us when we resolve to make our dreams a reality. So in committing to make that dream of mine a reality, the world served up one of the hardest, most worthwhile adventures I've ever had. 
And yes, it was really inconvenient to pull together all of those connections and, and just to walk out into the unknown to try to make this thing happen. But because I was looking, the path emerged. And it can happen like that for you too. Put feet to your passions, be brave, and give merit to those, I'd love to do that someday thoughts. Give merit to those. Because those dreams and inklings, they're like a roadmap inside of us that lead us down the path of living a life we love. Those random interests that seem hard to connect, those are the important dots to connect in your life. So I'll conclude with a quote from Steve Jobs. He said that it's impossible to see how the dots will connect looking forward. You can only connect them looking back. But believing that the dots connect, believing that they will connect down the road, will give you the confidence to follow your heart when it leads you off the well-worn path. And that's what makes all of the difference Find what you love and don't settle. Well, friends, we today are granted these degrees with the privileges and responsibilities therein. And my hope for us is that we will find what we love and not settle. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lauren, for those heartfelt words. Mr. Chase Franklin, Western Washington University alum, class of 1986, is your commencement speaker. Mr. Franklin has been a successful entrepreneur, executive, and innovator for 25 years. He remains so today. After graduating in 1986, Mr. Franklin spent more than a decade in product development and business strategy at Microsoft. He then struck out on his own, founding a, a technological startup company and seeing it successfully through the dot-com challenges of 2000. Today, he invests his expertise in other startups, advising, advising other entrepreneurs about how to turn their great ideas into thriving businesses. Mr. Franklin believes, as Winston Churchill famously noted, that success is the ability to go from one failure to another failure with enthusiasm. In those words, Mr. Franklin recognizes, as did Winston Churchill, that while optimism is helpful to persevere through difficult times, it's particularly valuable in attracting the best people and attaining the best from those people if the achievements, if they're important at all, uh, as they, they, they must be shared and not simply individual accomplishments. He also gives his time generously and resources to Western's College of Business and Economics. He endowed the college's Alietta and Caden Franklin Excellence in Teaching Award, named for his daughter and son, and recently expanded the endowment to provide professional development opportunities for our faculty. It gives me great pleasure to introduce your commencement speaker, Mr. Chase Franklin. Thank you. Now, how's the hat here? <laughs> Not too bad. President Shepard, members of the Board of Trustees, faculty and staff, family and friends, honored graduates. It is my pleasure to address Western's graduating class of fall 2011. After years of hard work, and yes, a bit of fun, you made it. Congratulations on your accomplishment. Years ago, you arrived in Bellingham with a car full of stuff and a head full of hopes and aspirations. Your college career was all before you. When you leave today, you begin a new career. And I trust you are once again full of hope and aspiration. Yes, this is a challenging time to look for work. The job market is among the toughest we've seen in a long time, but that will change. You will have opportunity to accomplish great things. And for all of you, the measure of your lives 
will be taken in terms of how you play the hand you're dealt. So with that in mind, I offer a suggestion, one I believe can have a significant impact on your future. Think like an entrepreneur. Act like an entrepreneur. Really? You ask? That's it? <laughs> be an entrepreneur? How am I supposed to be an entrepreneur in a job search? As a teacher in a classroom? In an entry level job? Well, I didn't say be an entrepreneur. I said think and act like one. We're used to picturing entrepreneurs as extraordinarily successful business people like William Bowen, Oprah Winfrey, Mark Zuckerberg. People with a rare mix of prescient vision, risk tolerance, and leadership skills. We view entrepreneurs as creatures of capitalism, not as individuals who discover new and unusual ways to challenge conventional wisdom. And that is tragic, because it diminishes the power of society at a time when we need it most. Each of us individually, all of us collectively, benefit when we apply the same techniques that drive successful entrepreneurs. To that end, here is my view of the top three qualities of successful entrepreneurs. Number one, entrepreneurs take the long view, but they act decisively today. Take the long view, act decisively today. Successful entrepreneurs thrive at the intersection between the pragmatic constraints of the present and the grand potential of the future. In 1994, a bond trader on Wall Street was struck by a simple statistic. Internet usage was growing by 2,300% a year. He saw that the scale of the internet would soon reach a point where it would support new types of businesses. A review of common business models highlighted the mail order catalog business as one that was easily transferable to the web. And when he looked within that industry, he noticed that a basic commodity product was completely missing in mail order catalogs. Books. Books could not be sold effectively through mail order catalogs because there are simply too many of them and the number in print changes constantly. However, a critically limiting factor for the catalog industry turned out to be a simple problem for a large database on the web. The long-term vision of Jeff Bezos was to use the web to transform the retail industry. His first step was to create what he called Earth's largest bookstore, an ambition that was hotly debated at the time but seems rather quaint to us now. Today, Amazon sells millions of goods and services, from toys to server space for other internet companies. Jeff Bezos held true to his long-term vision of transforming the future of retailing even as he undertook the tactical steps to begin realizing that vision. Number two, entrepreneurs think and act disruptively. Think and act disruptively. Thinking and acting like an entrepreneur inevitably means challenging and disrupting the status quo. Rafe Esquith, a teacher for 25 years in one of LA's toughest neighborhoods, is known for his often radical approach to curriculum and teaching. His number one rule, never ask permission. Esquith is well known for creating a Shakespearean production company within his fifth grade classroom. And over the years, his kids have produced many of the Bard's greatest works. It wasn't that way in the beginning, however. When he first decided to teach Shakespeare, parents and administrators admonished him to instead teach students something academic. So he produced Thornton Wilder's Our Town. After the performance, a district official complimented Esquith, saying it was the best Shakespeare she had ever seen. <laughs> that one event cemented his philosophy of first taking the risk 
and asking forgiveness later. Not every teacher in every situation can disruptively challenge their institution. Esquith has been perfecting his form of constructive rebellion for 25 years. It's unlikely he was as much of a rebel at the beginning of his teaching career. Nonetheless, his disruptive entrepreneurial mindset illustrates a powerful guiding principle for anyone entering a large institution. As Esquith puts it himself, don't let the system limit you. Quietly rebel. And finally, number three, entrepreneurs are determined. Entrepreneurs are determined. Among the more powerful characteristics of the entrepreneur is determination, that potent blend of optimism, tenacity, and stubbornness that helps guide you toward a distant goal even in the face of setbacks, criticism, constant change, and long odds. In 1997, I co-founded a software company named QPass. Our mission was to develop a transaction engine for the internet that would allow premium digital products, newspaper and magazine articles, music, video, to be sold directly to consumers. Having spent four years and $75 million in venture capital, I came to realize that while our business was growing, it was not succeeding. When our largest customer abandoned us in near early 2000, it became clear that the world did not value what I was selling. To make matters worse, the dot-com boom was coming to an abrupt end and the NASDAQ was crashing through the floor. Yet I still believed content was valuable. I believed premium digital products would be purchased by consumers on the internet. But what to do next? Well, we gathered ourselves and developed a 24-month plan to utilize our knowledge and our skills in a bold new direction. Mobile premium content. And for the uninitiated, those are those annoying ringtones we've all come to despise so much. <laughs> Unfortunately, the funding for the plan would come from drastic cost cutting, and in a software company, that means people. In one very sad day, QPass went from 200 employees to less than 60. 23 months later, we launched a completely new system with two major wireless carriers as customers. The next month, December 2002, we processed 10,000 transactions, a total value of only $20,000. But it was a start. One year later, our volume had surged to more than 100,000 transactions per day. Over one year, 10,000 a month to 100,000 a day. When we sold the new QPass in mid-2006, the company employed more than 300 people. Our daily transaction volume was well into the millions. And in a little over four years, we had processed more than $1 billion worth of mobile premium content. A heck of a lot of ringtones. Because we were determined in our belief that premium content would be a valuable market, because we were determined to learn from our mistakes, QPass is known today as a failure that became a huge success. Whatever you do in your career, look for opportunities to apply the entrepreneur's mindset. If you believe in something, conjure the courage and the determination to pursue it to the point of success. And above all, strive to be proud of your effort and the way you treat other people. It has been an honor to be here with you today. I wish all of you the very best. And I hope you take a moment this afternoon to appreciate this momentous milestone in your life. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Franklin, for those wide words of guidance and for your continuing commitment to Western. Commencement is a time to celebrate enduring traditions 
and a time to inaugurate new ones. Today we do both at once. At Western, ours is a tradition of making a difference, of being a different, of being the difference. Today we honor that tradition through the first honorary doctorate degree from Western Washington University, made in recognition of exemplary contributions to humankind. I invite Dr. Jane Lipchenko to please come forward. Provost Reardon and Dean Wright, please step forward to assist me in presenting the award. Growing up as the eldest of six high-achieving daughters in Colorado, your early accomplishments as a scholar, athlete, and leader could have taken you to the top of any number of fields. It is a great good fortune for our oceans, our planet, and the creatures that inhabit them that a college class at the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute focused your formal talents on scientific research and public advocacy for ecosystem health. As a distinguished professor at Oregon State University, your academic contributions to the study of oceans, climate change, and the interactions between the environment and human well-being have made you one of the most highly cited ecologists in the world with eight of your numerous publications recognized as science citation classics. In 1993, the MacArthur Foundation reached out to select you to receive a MacArthur Fellowship, known popularly as the Genius Award. In addition to being elected to the prestigious National Academy of Sciences, you have served in numerous national and international leadership roles presiding over the American Association for the Advancement of Sciences, the International Council for Science, and the National Science Board. At the same time, you have helped to expand dialogue between the scientific establishment and the public, co-founding the Leopold Leadership Program, the Communication Partnership for Science and the Sea, and Climate Central to improve communication of scientific knowledge to citizens, policymakers, the media, and industry. While any of these would be career-making accomplishments for most scientists, in, in 2009 you were confirmed by the United States Senate as Chief Administrator of the National Ocean and Oce Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, and Under Secretary of Commerce for Oceans and Atmosphere. The first woman and the first marine ecologist to occupy these posts. At NOAA, you are a guiding force behind the British Petroleum Deepwater Horizon spill and response to it, and have been a tireless advocate for a comprehensive national response to the environmental challenges of rising seas, declining fish stocks, and the increasingly precarious health of marine ecosystems and coastal communities. For your pivotal contributions to our understanding of the relationship between ecological sustainability and the future of all species on Earth, for blazing new channels of communication between science and society, and for bringing both to bear on your leadership of environmental policy at the national level. It is our great privilege to honor you this morning. On the recommendation of the faculty of Western Washington University, and by the authority vested in me by our Board of Trust Trustees, and in conformance with the laws of the State of Washington, I confer upon you the degree Doctor of Science Honoris Causa with all the responsibilities, privileges, and honors thereto pertaining. Congratulations. Before the most important part of the ceremony begins, I have an announcement concerning photographs. Pictures of your favorite graduate will be taken by a professional photographer as the diploma is received. Photo opportunities for family and friends will be available later. Therefore, please do not obstruct the aisles at the uh, back and sides of the graduate seating area. 
Associate Dean Dunn will now come forward and present the master's candidates. Will the candidates for the master's degree please rise and remain standing? Will the faculty please rise? Mr. President, Associate Dean Dunn, I present these candidates for the master's degree upon the recommendation of their faculty advisors, their thesis committees, and on behalf of our faculty. I certify that they have satisfactorily completed the course requirements for the master's degree, have met the scholastic standards of the university, and have been approved by the graduate council. I present them for the conferring of their degrees. I am pleased to receive these candidates. On the recommendation of the faculty of Western Washington University and by the authority vested in me by our Board of Trustees and in conformity with the laws of the State of Washington, I confer upon you the degree appropriate to the work you have completed with all of the responsibilities, privileges, and honors thereto pertaining. Congratulations. Thank you, Associate Dean Dunn. Dr. Elizabeth Shermer, along with major professors, will assist with the hooding. Associate Dean Dunn will read the names of the master's candidates. Will the candidates for the master's degree now proceed to the platform? Faculty may be seated. Krista Anderson K, Master of Business Administration. <laughs> Renee Louise Ragsdale, Master of Science, Environmental Science. <laughs> Ian Tyler Fawley, Master of Education, Environmental Education. <laughs> Jennifer Kaylee Radke, Master of Education, Environmental Education. Megan Michelle Hobus, Master of Arts, Anthropology. <laughs> Durbin Edward Neifel, Master of Business Administration. <laughs> Margaret Elizabeth Kelly, Master of Arts, Anthropology. <laughs> Jess Robinette, Master of Business Administration. Hal James Erwin Swoboda, Master of Education, Student Affairs Administration. <laughs> Ramiro Espinoza, Master of Education, Student Affairs Administration. <laughs> Lauren Elizabeth Widom, Master of Music. Marissa Marie Smith, Master of Business Administration. Robert Timothy Wunschel, Master of Arts, Anthropology. Brett Rubio, Master of Arts, Political Science. Kimberly Kathleen Foster, Master of Arts, Rehabilitation Counseling. <laughs> Stephanie Page Stevens, Master of Business Administration. <laughs> Aya Nakimara K, 
Kassam, Master of Arts, Rehabilitation and Counseling. Joshua Sean Martin, Master of Arts, Political Science. Darren E. Zirong, Master of Business Administration. Alicia Janagosowski, sorry, Master of Education, Continuing and College Education. Charles Arthur Van Zee, Master of Education, Continuing and College Education. Please join me in congratulating these candidates who have completed their master's degree. Graduates, are you ready? Are you ready? The diploma you received today is a result of your hard work and perseverance. It is also a gift given to you by many, your families, the citizens of Washington, our faculty and staff, and the many philanthropists who support scholarships and add a margin of excellence. Your rewards will be lifelong because you put your active minds to changing lives. You know for you practice it, that the most valued gift any of us has is the gift of giving back. Education becomes truly higher by being put to higher purposes. Provost Reardon will join me for the conferring of the bachelor's degrees upon the eligible candidates. Will candidates for the baccalaureate degrees please rise and remain standing. Will the faculty please rise? Mr. President. Madam Provost. I am proud to present these candidates for graduation on behalf of the faculty of Western Washington University. I recommend they be awarded the baccalaureate degree, subject, of course, to the satisfactory completion of any outstanding assignments. <laughs> I am pleased to receive these candidates. On the recommendation of the faculty of Western Washington University and by the authority vested in me by our Board of Trustees and in conformity with the laws of the State of Washington, I confer upon you the degree appropriate to the work you have completed with all the responsibilities, privileges, and honors thereto pertaining. Congratulations, you are now graduates. It is a tradition that you now move your tassel from the right to the left. You may be seated. We now come to that part of the program you've been waiting for for four years, or perhaps five, or... We hand to each of you a piece of our proud tradition, the uniquely Western approach to your education that is now an inseparable part of you. You may proceed to the platform to receive your diploma when called by your dean. Will the graduates from the College of Humanities and Social Sciences please come forward. Emma Janelle Lasco. Zachary P. Cote. Colleen Bryan. 
Ashley Lynn Hammock. Christopher Andrew Knapp. Daniel N. Boulay. Joseph Fraley Run. Joseph Fraley. <laughs> Melissa T. Kim No. Jessica Grace Jones. Sarah Elizabeth Khan. Amy J. Cote. Cheryl Lee Abbott. Michael Elwood Johnson. Heidi Joanne Dempsey. Emily Ann Barantes. Brittany F. Boucher. Rachel Brown. Stephanie Chantel Edmonds. Carolyn Catherine Greenberg, University Honors. Jessica Ann Bington. Damian Lee Culver. James P. Bowen. Stephanie Andrea Allen. Ellie Chop. Brianne Nicole Arton. Megan Rose Humphreys. Kayla Marie Grico. Alana Lynn Hurt. Brandon Michael Callen. Christopher Drake. Zachary Thomas Gouverneur. Nathaniel Allen Holt. Alexander Christian Luth. Tyler Holt. Amy Adele Ellis. Brittany Ann Covert. Kirsto Sukahito Budek. Jenneray Jean Bond. Maurice King Jewett. Kristen Charlene Johnson. Leanne Falinski. Kristen Janelle Mateus. Julian Claire Frabel. Levi Royce Johnson. Samantha Lynn Peterson. Kayla Marie Gannon Kunale. Ashley Jane Cox. Tara Lee Hoyt. You go, girl! Kristen T. Gade. Travis Elmquist. Alex W. Arpin. Sarah Ann Dory. Ashley Camille Libby Kum Laude. Eric Edward Finland. Bo Gaines Brumenstein. Julian Kathleen Kavna Kum Laude. Roberto Eduardo Molina. Brandon E. Daluca. Nicole Melin Arriaga. Nabi Kaur. Griffin Edward Bainter. Christopher Ryan Donahue. Owen Brittany Harris. David Bookie. Lavage <laughs> Javier Thomas. <laughs> Jamina Amira Khanan Shannon. 
Morgan Keys. <laughs> Alexander Gregory Roberts. <laughs> Levante Devon Wilkerson. <laughs> Allison Jane Nolder. <laughs> Kelly Kate Malloy. <laughs> Colby B. Welch. <laughs> Andrew Todd McCarthy. <laughs> Jessica Joy West. Garnet Angelica Wang Wu. John Harman Swanky. Lena Christy Lenora. Megan Ann Hyde. Ashley Dominique Marquette. William G. Reedy. Rebecca Faith Roundhill. Molly K. Boyd. Tara Kester. Dana D. Yusa. Daniela Marie Welsh. Ashley Marie Hegman. Alexandra Marie Valenzuela. Alyssa Lane Saka. Daniel Martin Quinn. Ashley Christine Bergman, cum laude. Casey Ann Merfold. Nathan John Vrega. Kevin Garmin Reese. Amelma W. Wandimhune. Sarah Elizabeth Richardson, cum laude. Jennifer Sawyer. Celeste Erickson. Christopher John Wood. Sarah Diane Rice. Ariana Christine Rodriguez. <laughs> David Wozniak. <laughs> Philip Kendall Walker. <laughs> Shana Diane Langley. <laughs> Robin Sarah Culp. <laughs> Lindsay Virginia Clark. <laughs> Brianna Fuljambi. Amanda Lynn Millman. Natasha Vooch. Catherine Sarah Everfondi. Michael Gray Downey. Emily Ann Saper. Brooke. Jolene Roberts and Kum Laude. Rachel Elizabeth Johnson. Amanda Yvonne Schulke. Kara Vanderbos Kum Laude. Sarah Emily Day. And Lorraine Christy Passion. Passavant. Kristen Nicole Pettit. Fiona McCrone. Laura Mary Matusik. Kayla Jean King, cum laude. Christopher Wheeler. Yeah! Elizabeth Boyle Wagner. Yeah! 
Aaron Patrick Daniel Schmersall. <laughs> Melanie Ryan Keen. <laughs> Joseph William Ng. <laughs> James Thomas Mills. <laughs> Cameron Mitchell Stewart. <laughs> Brenna Janelle Sandstrom. Raymond Daniel Pate, Zachary Scott Mesmer, Brian S. Swift Magna Cum Laude, Alex Kim Yee, Preston Oliver Parks, Kitty G. Milne. Yasha Macias Marigold. <laughs> Catherine Ann Gore. <laughs> Lindsay M. Osborne. <laughs> Kimberly Ellen <Alain> James. <laughs> Shannon Christine Clay. <laughs> Allison Francis Dots. Megan Leanne Raymore Amundsen. <laughs> Joshua Parker Martinson. <laughs> Matthew Philip Monte Corvo. <laughs> Malvina Shitabs. <laughs> Tyler James Frank. <laughs> Lauren Elizabeth Matheny. Angela Marie Dowdle. <laughs> Mallory Lynn Nelson. Brandy Nicole Jones. <laughs> Erica Joe Quint. Brand Nicole Kumar. <laughs> Sean Donovan Mills. <laughs> Cody Ransom Zachary Oaks. Kristen Marie Harich. <laughs> Elizabeth Pearl Matheson. <laughs> William Martin Hoppen. <laughs> Debbie Carol Goff. <laughs> Molly Elizabeth Shannon. <laughs> Allison Jeanine McKenzie. <laughs> Lexi Ann Hinza. Carpenas. <laughs> Melina Lynn Rohde. <laughs> Jonathan B. Cooper. <laughs> Michelle Kumi Green. <laughs> Andrew Paul Overland. <laughs> Jesse Bodette Pullian. <laughs> Micah Underwood. <laughs> Connor. Gabrielle Marie Fairbanks. Natalie Wienhauer. Kayla Ray Ford. Melissa Lynn Skaggs. Alyssa Raynell Schletz Kuhnhauer. Please join me. Congratulating these graduates from the College of Humanities and Science. Will the graduates from the College of Sciences and Technology please come forward? Katrina B. Kumar. Rihanna Kahakaloni Davis. 
Jamie J.I. Yon. Christopher Kyle Scholl. Mary Lynn Selling. Noel Winfrey Leonard. Maxwell Christian Snyder. Sarah R. Coe. Yes, Jeffrey Manson Pop. Eric Richard Evans. Abigail Susan Wall. Victor Atticus Turner. Tisha Robin Hanson Curry, University Honors. Petya Yankova Cushing. Matthew Webley. Christina Marie Conley. Olive Henrik Konecki, University Honors. Ali Marie Loreen. Megan Antonia Butcher. Claire Elaine Baumkamp. Magic Magna Cum Laude. Michael D. Claiborne, Cum Laude. Caitlin Marie Mitchell. Samantha Ray Griffin. Catherine Lee McCammy. Kayala Elizabeth Anzalone. Kristen Elise Anzalone. Linda Lyndon George Meza. Colin C. Hansen. Scott Christjop Nordahl. Lillian Virginia Alice Hale. John Paul Scott. Emily Butler. Jack Victor Lolly. Kelsey Marie Anderson. Nathan Simons. Eric Allen Finley. Mark Eldridge. Joseph Bialik. Alan W. Buskin. Kyle Keith Levine. Kevin Daniel Marsalis. Kimberly Ann Stone. Alexandra L. Cochran. Sarah Ann Schantz. Magna Cum Laude, University Honors. Charles Robert Martin. Joel David Bussey. Cody Stephen Conant. Samuel Ryan Toshner. Kyle Reeser Knowles, Cum Laude. Graham E. Johnson. George Watrus. Levi Joshua Adam Daniel. Cum laude. Nicholas Joseph Hoza. Magna Cum Laude, University Honors. Please join me in congratulating the graduates of the College of Sciences and Technology.
both candidates from the College of Business and Economics. Please come forward. John Ovenell. <laughs> Kimberly Burwell, Cum Laude. <laughs> Charles Michael Jenkins. <laughs> Christina Michelle Bosco. <laughs> Yuki Minagawa. <laughs> Shintaro Inkida. Ryan Logan Werder. Yeah. Dara Hugh Sims. Yeah. Lauren Christine Lycan. Yeah. Benjamin Evans. Yeah. Angela Rochelle Hatch. Yeah. Christine Alexandra Hay, Manya Cum Laude. Jessica Catherine Lauer. Jordan Welling, Cum Laude. Sarah Marcel Line. Alfred J. Harmonies, Cum Laude. Michael M. Jones. Michael Vanden Scheide. Per Erickson Miller. Andrew James Carlson. Christian A. McDermott. Andrew C. Norman. Hai Y Kwok. Jonathan Song Yu Han. Jillian Michelle Prentice, Cum Laude. Tyler John Humphrey. Brian Patrick Chapman. Laura S. Yeah, Tiffany Tung Blair. <laughs> Jessica Lynn Beal. <laughs> Charles Reed Nobert. <laughs> Heather Elise Miller. <laughs> Eric David Miller. David Winslow. Brian Behrens. Justin Lamar Martin. Yeah! Carl James Eschers. Dylan Robert Ulbrich. Eric Cooper. Nathaniel James Allen. Joseph Michael Sanceri. Tyler Frederick Yant. Catherine Maru Kirkness, Cum Laude. William James Christian. David Allen Conrad. Michelle Christine Sands. Jody Lane McCormick, Cum Laude. Bridget Delgadillo. William Andrew Myers. Alex M. Manso. Yeah. 
Sarah Alicia Fiat. Lauren Ann Bryhoff, cum laude. Paulina Enchak. Shane Michael Ward. Nicholas Michael Suter. Alan Dale Kennedy. Maximilian Anderson Carey. Alexander William R. Smith. Matthew Santos. Ryan Caleb Sucola, Kum Joshua Lee. Eric Lewis Hanks. Kyle Fremantle. Yesenia Adriana. Rachel Ann Laughlin. Carrera Saint Laurent Casper. Libby Hoffman Martin. Joshua Michael Robin. Joseph Kowal. Kristen Lawrence Bueller. Gustavo R. Hoyos. Tanya Zaragoza Rosas. Lydia Goita. Crystal Joy F. Booty. Hung Wak Nguyen. John Pullman. David Michael Hatton, Mania Kuma. Zachary David Bacon. Please join me in congratulating these graduates of the College of Business and Economics. College of Fine and Performing Arts. Please come forward. Lauren Elizabeth Randolph. Christiane Michael Antonio Ruggiero Upton. <laughs> Esther Young Yun Chung. <laughs> Ali Samantha Rosowski. <laughs> Catherine Amanda Lee. <laughs> Kathleen or Peter Zelka. Rose Lockie. Brittany Bachman. Alexandra Lauren Steinberg. Meredith Rosalie Eckberg. Magna Cum Laude, University of Anna Zuck Adent. I, Michael Kemner. Eric Luis Vargas. Sarah Farrar. Nathaniel Paul Woodbury. Elizabeth. 
Alyssa Brownen Dashbach. Lauren Elizabeth Ashoff. Check home law. Please join me in congratulating these new graduates from the College of Finance. Well, the candidates from Fairhaven College of Interdisciplinary Studies and American Cultural Studies, please come forward. Savannah Blair Edwards. AJ Wolford. Elizabeth Jane A.B. Robinson. Joshua Tyler Phelps. Julia Rodriguez Lane. Ian A. Nelson. Ryan B. Hogie. Patrick Christopher Thornsberry. Alexander Rene Ray. Please join me in congratulating these graduates. Uh, The candidates from Huxley College of the Environment, please come forward. Christopher Neal Gallagher. Hillary Nicole Cosentino. Paul Thompson. Brent Allen Sweezy Mag Cum Laude. Kayla Ann Grayson Magna Cum Laude. Paul Anthony Wild Magna Cum Laude. Kelly Nicole Dalrymple. Connor Benjamin Mack. Yeah! Peter Paul Dwayne. Yeah! Lauren Marine Squires. Yeah! Jessica Elizabeth Hanawa. Aaron Nasleen Acker. Maxim Marie Lundquist. <laughs> Haley Jane Barbero. <laughs> Sebastian Wolfendale. <laughs> Travis Edward Renville. <laughs> Ryan Doan. <laughs> Dana Pauline Christensen. <laughs> Sarah Aubrey Allen. <laughs> Jennifer Lynn Hoogerstrup. <laughs> Allison Hayes. <laughs> Michael Minifree. <laughs> Emily Yale Wynn. <laughs> Please join me in congratulating these graduates of Huxley College of the Candidates from the Woodring College of Education, please come forward.
Kristen Catherine Swan. Terry Ann Jenkins. Madison Rosenberg. Ashley Marie Finch. Brian Douglas Hines. Amber June House. Chelsea Lee Air. Taylor Shea Barks. Shelby Joe Lyon. Lindsay R. Biden. Rochelle Ann Risho. Julie H. Rohawk. Trish Gonzalez. Melody Ann Freeman. Jamie Johnson. Virginia Ruth Nix. Jane E. Gustafson. Elena Ray Anderson, magna cum laude. <laughs> Hillary Lorian Bean. <laughs> Rhonda Ruth Case, magna cum laude. <laughs> Lisa Denae Lee. <laughs> Amber Nicole McPartland. Molly Diane McCoy, <laughs> Samantha Nicole Cardona, University <laughs> Honors, <laughs> Chelsea Renee Boris, <laughs> Margaret Ann Hoffman Kumalali, <laughs> Bria Nicole Trujillo. Lisa Lynn Todd. <laughs> Jordan Matthew Wistful. <laughs> Molly Elizabeth Moran, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Jamie Wilson. <laughs> Brianna Silva. <laughs> Carly Marie Higgins. Please join me in congratulating the graduates of the Living College of Education. Let's show our pride in our graduates one more time. I would like to express my appreciation to the many people who have worked long hours planning and implementing today's graduation ceremony. A special thanks to those who volunteered their time to serve in so many critical roles. I ask that the audience remain here during the recession of faculty and students to the traditional memory walk ceremony. They will proceed toward the stage where the students will pass by the faculty and deposit their student ID cards or other memorabilia, poems, plans for the future, old parking tickets. <laughs> In
in a box, and later we will seal that box in the walkway in front of Old Main. After the completion of the memory walk ceremony, graduates will meet their guests outside the lobby of the gym. Western Washington University music major Lauren Randolph will now lead us as we sing the alma mater. She'll be accompanied by the Western String Quartet. Please do join in. The words are on the back cover of your program. Please rise and remain standing in place for the alma mater and until the recessional is complete. <laughs> 